Uh, we were packed. Um, uh, we didn't have people always in those two or three little chairs there, which are sort of on the stage. But the rest of it was full. Um, we, all the tickets were taken, but sometimes people don't show up because it's free. So, you know, what have you lost if you don't show up? Nothing. Um, but we had full houses. They were very, very happy. They did a lot of laughing. A number of people, I was surprised, thought this was the best thing they'd, we'd done and they'd seen a lot of other things that we'd done. Um, it, I think it's because it's so funny and because people like mysteries, it, uh, the material is popular. And it's very fast paced. It moves like the wind. This room is a difficult space in which to put shows because it was a stable. It has a nine foot ceiling and it's 60 feet wide and about 14 feet deep. There are only two or three feet back there that you don't see. Uh, so it's hard to figure out what to do in a space this size. And actually this show has been tough to squeeze in. But um, A, it was, we thought we could put it in the space with what is called a unit set that becomes multiple locations. Um, second, it was fun and we thought it'd be neat to have a good time. Third, it has a large cast. We're doing it with 19, but there are 50 some characters, so people play multiple parts. And fourth, um, it's a murder mystery, musical comedy, and there are only three of them. So we thought we would share one with Cabrini. Right, you have to design a set, you have to build a set, you have to paint a set. Uh, we have a wonderful gal this year who joined us, actually last year, and is working on costuming, so you have to find the 60 or 70 costumes that the kids wear in the course of the evening. Um, me, and then you have to decide who's going to play what roles, so you have auditions, and then you do what is called blocking. Every movement an actor makes is exactly the same every performance. So all of the songs and the scenes have to be staged, and you have to acquire all the properties and the furniture and the stuff, and then you have to learn all the music, and we have to have a band, and they have to play it. You have to put it all together and throw in the sound and the lighting, which is very, very complex and computerized. So all of that takes time. Probably we spent at least 20 hours just programming the lighting cues. I hope that people will just come and have a wonderful time. And long term, we'd all love to have a theater someday.